What's good, RDC World Gamer? It's your boy Lee, and I'm back again, and I'm about to show y'all one of my other unknown talents, which was well, not really unknown. I really tell y'all niggas all the time that I fuck with Sonic Heavy, but now I'm about to show y'all how cold I really am, and this time I'm gonna be using Sonic Mania as an example. And we got Dylan over here for side commentary because he, some, for some reason, sleep on me. It's had, that, that opening. Uh, Look, the animation, no, 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 that whole clean. Now, that's a top tier animation scene. I'm not gonna lie. It's like a new game? Uh, yes. Well, it's like the new Sonic? Sonic game, yes it is. But no, but then that you want to count Sonic Forces, and I don't count that bitch. That hell, sorry, the bitch. Oh, that's one of those big. Uh, no, that's that's boom. Sonic oh, Forces oh. came out in I think it was 2018, but uh, that hell was not into me at all, and it, it, it was I don't know. I, I deleted that hell out of my memory. So if you ask me, this is the most recent Sonic game. <laughs> but this hell is kind of like a. Um, it's kind of a new game because they have like new stages, but they also have like revamps of the original stage, like Green Hill. Green Hill Zone is um, the first stage from the first game. But this, this is a revamp. Right? Yeah, this right here is a revamp. So it's like the same stage, but they changed a few things, kind of like a, a remix, low key. Oh, okay. But uh, yeah, I fucked with this whole I fucked with this whole heavy. I beat this whole like fucking four times whenever it came out. And uh, shit, yeah, I beat this whole with. Sonic and Tails, Sonic alone, Tails alone, Knuckles. Like this shit, this is loud to me. And low key, it, it kind of re uh, relit the the spark of hope that I had for this for the franchise because I thought that Sonic couldn't make a good game no more. Sonic boring to me, bro. But how though? <laughs> They're so boring. Well, how, bro? They got one of the. I, I honestly think that Sonic has the best soundtrack out of all video games. These hoes is loud to me. I like the, I like the art. And the music, but mm -hmm. it's not fun to play. Nah, I, I, I guess I can respect that. I don't agree, but <laughs> I, I definitely. I've never liked the ones except for Advance Two. Advance even got a, a cold ass soundtrack. But uh, nah, yeah, I feel like uh, kids these days probably wouldn't be able to grasp Sonic if they didn't, uh, if they didn't like, if they weren't used to it already, just due to how com complex games are nowadays. Like, I feel like they might, they might could find it boring, but I feel like this shit is. Goaded to me. It's not my favorite Sonic game, but it's definitely I like it a lot. I never found these hoes like complex or anything. She did. These hoes, I don't want to say they complex. Like it's really just two buttons, but it's just you gotta know what you're doing because if not, you're gonna. Oh yeah, that's all. Like, I'm not gonna like the levels or nothing. Oh no 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 yeah. But even so, like classic Sonic games, them hoes are hard. But I still don't think these hoes are harder than fucking uh, Mario. Mario, that shit is hard as a bitch. No cap. Like I, I, the only classic Mario game that I've beaten is Super Mario World. All them other ones, I, I fucking gave up on them hoes. And, and honestly, I didn't really own them hoes like that to, to beat them hoes like that in general. Super Mario World is the only one that I had on Super Nintendo. I never liked platforms like that anyway. I fucking love them hoes. But like, Sonic was like really one of the first games that I got introduced to, besides the games that I had in my house. It was like the first instance that I had with 64. But whenever I used to visit my uh, my family back in my my dad's hometown, like they would have uh, Sega Genesis and shit. And my older cousin, his favorite character was Tails, so the nigga never let me play with Tails, so I had to be Sonic. And if I was sorry on that bitch, we would not progress in the game. But he did not care. <laughs> he, he didn't care. Tails is my favorite too. But one of the little. I mean, Tails loves, but he ain't never been my favorite. It's too many. It's too many cold ass niggas on this hoe. He was faster than motherfucking Sonic. Oh my god, stop saying that shit, bro. That nigga was not faster than motherfucking Sonic. He was. How? What, 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 what did he do to make you think that, that he was faster like than Sonic? There's like this thing, there's like this thing, like that you run off, and it, it's like a hover thing, and it moves it, like okay. whatever direction you are. But like, in advance, like there's two characters, right? And like there's one time, Tails was running one way, okay. and Sonic was running the other way, and mm -hmm. it was going the way of Tails. So, I mean, Tails was faster than him. But that could just be a fuck up. No, I had tested it multiple times. <laughs> so it was I, like it was like a clear a clear uh, speed advantage in Tails' favor. Yeah, like he was he was obviously, he was obviously going to it. Yeah. Like, it happened once. It happened once. So I was like, what the fuck is going on? And I just kept testing it. Yeah. Like, oh, you gotta show me the car fact. I'll I'll bring that up. I think it's in at the house. Uh, in uh, in round rock. All right. Probably, probably or your house house. Like, house. I don't even know what fucking is. Oh. You know what I'm talking about? That's what the shit clean. That shit is clean. You can be trying to sit there. Baby hot set. 
Nah, no, 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 cause they really hoe niggas. That nigga jumps little as a bitch. Hey, no, cause my favorite. Nah, he no, cause is my favorite. That nigga, bro, you already know. I mean, I, that nigga black, bro. Watch out, bro. But no, cause is black. No, he not. Yes, he is. Bro. <laughs> no, he not. Nigga bro. has he has whole dreads. White people can't have dreads. He has whole dreads. Every time this nigga show up on the screen, he has a fucking hip hop beat that plays exclusively for him. Nobody else has it. Man, man, come That's on. That's my hip hop beat on the game. But it's his. He got his own exclusive. That whole drop. Man, man. man. I don't mean he black. Comment, a man, chat in the comments, please tell this nigga that Nuggets is black. Nuggets is not black. And if he, and if they were real people, I'm, I'm willing to bet that he would be translated into a black nigga. Oh, the live action. Nah, I'm, I'm, <laughs> I guarantee that he would be black. He's the only person that I would say that that could be black for Sonic, even though Shadow is physically black. I don't, I don't, Shadow doesn't have black characteristics. Oh, and Nuggets, his colors are also a theme from Jamaica. The nigga has fucking red, yellow, and green shoes. And they clean, bro. They clean it a bit. I think he clean Sonic here. Who? No. Oh yeah, no, no, he's clean. He got the fucking spice on his gloves. I see. And like, I don't know. Like he, I think he is a clean, but he got some contenders that's with him too. But I think, I think Shadow is one of the cleanest niggas too. Shadow is clean. I think SBO is clean. SBO is clean. Uh, fucking Blaze the Cat is clean to me. Yeah, she's um, uh, yeah, she's she's purple. They really helped me. She's purple and uh, like she has like fire powers and shit. Like, Silver is clean to me too. Oh yeah, Silver is fucking nice. He just get on my fucking nerves when Sonic goes six. He he was a hoe throughout the majority of that game. And low key, I, that should have been one of the games that I deleted from my memory too. It's not necessarily. Uh, I don't I don't think the game was that bad. But uh, that was glitchy as a bitch. I'm not gonna cap. You can just tell that they rushed that bitch out. And really, the only thing that I think has replay value in that game is uh. <laughs> that, that didn't even make sense. I wasn't even. But uh, like the only, the only thing that I thought that was uh, had replay value in that game was uh, was Sonic Story Mode. Like Shadow, he he's my favorite character out of those three. But I don't like how they how they make that nigga ride fucking motorcycles. Like you're damn near the same speed as Sonic, but you choose to ride on motorcycles and shit. I was like, look, look, this shit is not fun. And after I beat that bitch, I never went back and played the story again. So I was just like. Y'all can keep that shit. And Silver, like, I like his, um, his psychic abilities, but he's slow as a bitch. And, like, even if you know what you're doing on the stage, it's just his run speed alone makes the stage be, like, fucking 15 minutes and shit. I'm like, I don't... Oh, fuck that. I guess what I'm saying. <laughs> That's it. And then, like, the verses, the verses and shit on the game were, like, really, really, really broken. Because, like, you could, like, play co-op and then you could race. But first of all, if you don't pick Sonic, you're gonna fucking lose. Cause nobody, literally nobody is close to Sonic in speed. Nobody's close to him in speed. And then he has like hella perks that nobody else has. Like this nigga has these rings that he can apply to his shoes and each of them do like different things. And it's like, he has like eight of them bitches. Like um, the, a green one like makes like a tornado. Like you can like break dance and start a, a big ass wind that can hold niggas. He has this blue one that gives him speed boost. He has a sky blue one that like this nigga can like make a gym. I'm I'm gonna demonstrate that this man. Let me just show you how cheap that shit is. But I had never had the desire to play a Sonic game. But once I saw that movie, I said, hold on. Oh no 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 that movie, that movie was live as a bitch. That movie was live, bro. I ain't gonna cap. I already told you. My blood pressure was up before we before we watched it. I just thought they were gonna make that whole trash. No, that's that first song was ugly, bro. Oh no 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 no. And the jokes were cringy, I said, hell no. Are you talking about in the preview? Yes. Nah, that's that shit. There's no way the fuck's gonna hit. I think them niggas probably, I think they planned that shit, bro. Ain't, ain't no way that they was gonna make that nigga look like that, bro. <laughs> I don't believe it. Tails, hit, hit that nigga, bro. What are you doing? <laughs> that would've been the last hit. But I think they planned that shit. Ain't no way that they, that Sega would've, would've cleared that shit off. And honestly, I feel like that movie, I feel like that movie was uh, was really, really pivotal for their franchise because if, they, if them niggas didn't hit with that bitch, they would've had no other way to connect with, with the children. Because the, the kids show not checking for the game. I know, the, I know kids ain't out here actively buying Sonic Boom and shit. That's just not it. Oh, yeah, they drop a game right now. I'm gonna hit. Nah, definitely. I just hope that they can capitalize off that shit because they really have. I think that Sonic has a better franchise. Has like They have better tools than, than Mario to make a good game. Honestly. Like, Mario has Mario has his, his elements that are better goaded. But if we're talking characters and shit, Sonic is a way better character than uh, fucking Mario. Mario has no personality. He has no personality. Really, this nigga has no dialogue scenes in his fucking, in his games. 
He, niggas just talk to him. He just does what they say, like me. I mean, they he, the characters in Sonic are way more interesting. And it's like they could do a whole lot more shit than what than what Sonic can do, what Mario can do. That's that's just me. Like they niggas like, but my, I'm not gonna cap Mario. The niggas are geniuses. The niggas take the same element from Mario 64 and implement it in different settings, like Super Mario 64 with water with it <laughs> and you got Super Mario Sunshine Super Mario 64 and space yeah. you got Galaxy Super Mario and a new hat and you got Super Mario Odyssey like these niggas know what they're doing and they put Mario in fucking different activities and shit like Mario Kart and shit Mario Party Sonic tried that shit with Sonic Drift them niggas put that nigga in a go-kart I said nigga you're literally the fastest thing on the fucking planet why would I want to play with you in a car like that, that, that just don't sound right. Why would you not, why would you not make a Sonic game themed around racing like on foot? Even though they did, and that was called Sonic R. That hell was broken though. That hell was funny as a bitch. That hell old. It's like 1997 type shit. But that, like it's like it's like an actual track race. Like you gotta run around, you gotta run around the level, and like they run like niggas. But the thing is, Sonic is clearly faster than everybody. Like like everybody has like speed grades and shit. Like he's an A. Knuckles is a B, and like a, a, knuck, a cold Knuckles can really beat Sonic in a race, but you gotta know what the fuck you're doing. You're not just gonna, you're not just gonna turn on that bitch and just leave a Sonic. Tails is fucking slow on that bitch, but he has like he has the best acceleration out of, out of everybody, and like everybody else besides that, the niggas are pretty much deemed useless until you unlock like Metal Sonic and shit. And Super Sonic, you, if you pick that nigga, you're not losing. The nigga can run on water and everything, just cut across the stage. I like. High speed, uh, more than acceleration. No, no, facts. Like, cause all you gonna do is get caught up after that shit wear off. So, I mean, Tails, oh, yeah, Tails could fly and shit. Like, he could fly over the stage and shit, you know what I mean? It don't really mean nothing if, um, if Sonic is already gonna catch his dumb ass as soon as you do it. <laughs> but if I was to talk top fives in Sonic games, that's where shit gets a little, a little hazy. Like, I know my all time favorite Sonic game, which is Adventure 2 Battle. I can't put no Sonic game over that bitch. Like, that hood, that hood changed my motherfucking life. Like, I rented that hood from a Blockbuster. That was the first time that I ever played it. And, um, like, bro, me and my sister kept that game for so long. Like, I think back when you, uh, when, like, when you had Blockbuster, back, back when Blockbuster was around, I think you could, like, rent the games for it. Was it a week or was it five days? I thought my dad never let me get Blockbuster. Are you serious? Yes, bro. Why? Why? Well, like, I never told him about, like, no games. Oh, y'all just y'all got movies? Yeah, they got movies. I don't believe it. I never got no games for bro. Oh, my sister, one of her shoes, uh, old enough, she got a Pokemon Saving 2. From Blockbuster? Yeah. That's the only game, really. You talking about uh, your older sister? Yeah. But, like, bro. That bitch is funny. What's it called? We, we rented that bitch, and, look, uh, I... I really think I probably kept the game for like fucking four months. I'm not, I'm not capping. That hoe was just, man. And then when my mama said, did we ever take that game back? Fuck. She talked bad to me too. She, <laughs> she, she knew that, she knew that uh, I, we were supposed to take that bitch back, but she, she forgot about it. She talked bad to me and then we went into the store after we took it back and she I actually bought it. But my last, my last experience with renting the game was, uh, was horrible. And uh, like, I was like, yeah, this, this ain't it. Cause like we rented a, what's, what was it? it was a PlayStation 2 game. It was a um, Naruto Ultimate Ninja 3, and uh, we rented that bitch, and we um, let's go. let's start, let's restart. It. But yeah, we um, we rented that bitch, and like my sister, like my, my cousins, them had a birthday party, and we like they had like neon glow sticks, and like my cousin and shit were being childish, and I was doing it too. And like we, we opened the sticks and started throwing them bitches and like putting it all over the walls and shit. And when we, when we were done, oh what the fuck? <laughs> That's that, bad ass shit. Yeah, when when we were done, like we were like cleaning it up and shit. And Ultimate Ninja Three was open, and that the, the neon shit got on it and it burnt it. Like the, the game was like it was done. Like that was it. But that was your fault. No, that was it was completely our fault. <laughs> I, 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 I'm not I'm not taking I'm not saying that it was not. But uh, we got scared. We didn't want to take that bitch back, so we had that bitch. Bro. And I really can't tell you how long we had that game. It was a long ass time. Like them niggas was fucking calling her and harassing us and shit. I was like, I'm, I'm done renting games after this shit. And then low key, we took a dub because like we had it. 
and <laughs> we were running from game crazy. Them niggas went out of business. <laughs> so, <laughs> so we didn't have to take it back. I was like, that right there is a lesson. Cause that, that fee on that hoe was high. But uh, yeah, back to the topic of um, top five Sonic games, I would say Adventure 2 Battles off the rip. I'm not even gonna put them hoes in order. I, I feel like Sonic 3 and Knuckles would be in my number two. Cause I love that hoe to death too. That Sonic Heroes, I like Generations a lot, and maybe Sonic DX, Sonic Adventure 1. And all them hoes, them hoes are like really, really pivotal to me. Now this right here is my favorite stage on this game, it's called Studiopolis. And this hoes like, I don't know, this, this hoes just lied to me. I think it has one of the best songs on the game, and it's just like, I don't know, it just, it just feels fresh and new. Like this hoes just has like a, a super retro vibe, and it's just clean to me, I don't, I don't know. But I feel like they, they on, like on the old stages that they chose, I feel like they made good choices. But I was like, Green Hills deserves to be on the game because it's like literally the most iconic stage. Well, one of the most iconic stages in Sonic history. But I feel like Emerald Hill is a better stage than Emerald Hill is a, a better stage than Green Hill. Move, nigga. But uh, I understand why they chose Green Hill, and they put Chemical Planet. Chemical Planet is one of my favorite stages from the second one. But I feel like I feel like Hilltop should have made that hoe too. But I mean, beggars can't be choosers. I feel like they they made good choices with what they could. And like, yeah, I don't know. But back to the uh, Sonic soundtrack, I really don't think that there's another franchise that comes close to Sonic's music. But like these, like I, I really do feel like there's an actual nigga in the booth, like producing that music. It, it has to be. Hey, they got some motherfucking jams right like now. No, Sonic has jams, bro. Oh, that's um, Carnival Night on um, Sonic the Hedgehog 3. That hoe, that's a top tier song. That hoe, literally they had Michael Jackson working on their fucking, out, on their fucking soundtrack on Sonic 3. Yes, they had him working on it. So, that, that right there, so that, that's, that just lets you know that these niggas was not playing around in the booth. And I'm, I'm glad this game was, uh, was able to at least keep up with the pace of the old games. I really didn't know that they could still make the music like they did, but they, they definitely surprised me. And like, this is like the um, the sequel to Sonic the Hedgehog 3, low key. Even though there is a Sonic the Hedgehog 4, it doesn't follow the, the storyline. And like, I really don't like them hoes either anyway. Them hoes feel like really, really clunky. And like, actually it's clean. Actually, it's clean. But like, yeah, I feel like it's, um, they soundtracks can't be matched. Now don't get me wrong though, cause I feel like Street Fighter and shit got hella close soundtracks too. Especially Third Strike. But, as a, if I'm talking about a whole, Sonic can be fucked with. Like City Escape is a top. That's a top video game song. City Escape, Chemical Plant, Spring Yard, like all them hoes is just I don't know. It's like it's like a head of a head of a time. And like even yeah even Mario Mario got bangers too, but I, I still wouldn't put it over Sonic. And yeah, that's that's just my opinion. Like I remember I had an argument with CP because CP was saying uh, Final Fight. And I was like, Final Fight, they do got a lot of bad songs. I never played that like that. We had an actual song off in uh, our old house. I won that bitch though. Ben was uh, the judge. But yeah, that hoes. That hoes it. Like I would have, um, I would have probably played Adventure Two Battle on here, but um, we're we're not at our house right now, so I, I wasn't able to get it. What's on that? Adventure Two Battle. Oh, it's a child. Yeah, 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 oh, okay. yeah. Yeah, I already told you I was a professional child breeder. Man, you fucking hold me that one time. Bro, I did not hold you. But you made me feel the sorry child. You, this child was super fucked up. I, bro, that, sir, first of all, there were no sorry child. This is my child, the best one. If if I raised that bitch, that nigga was good. But, <laughs> like the first child, like the child that I use is like literally the first child that you get in the game. It's like whenever you go into the child garden, like they have two eggs that are in there, and like they're um, me and my sister would split those, and like she would get one, and I would get one. And like, yeah, I just held it. I took care of them hoes, like, for real, for real. And like, there's this child, my favorite child, like, my main one. He was a, um, a dark chaos child. And the only way that you could get him is like, your child had to, like, your child had to live and die two times. Like, they had to reincarnate. And then on the third life, you have to, um, you have to give them animals. Like, you have to give them one of each animal in the game. You can't fuck up. So I literally had to, like, write down a list of all the animals on the game. And, um, like every time I would give it an animal, I would cross it off. 
And uh, after I did, I think it was like, what, was it 24 animals or 26, some shit like that. Like you do that and then you sit in the child garden with them that whole time until they, um, until they finally like uh, evolve. And like I was, I was, I was praying. I was like, please don't fuck up on this shit because I'm about to sit through this nigga's life again. And he came out and that nigga was clean. And after he, um, after I got him, I raised him up and then those child are the only ones that can't die. So that nigga was clean as a bitch. Was yeah, he he's there. The only way that somebody can get rid of him is if they send that nigga away. If somebody was sending that nigga away, bro, I'd I, I probably, man, I'd be hot as a bitch. I'm not, it's kind of like uh, your yeah, Pokemon. Even though you don't play that bitch, you still be hot as a bitch if somebody took away your EV and IV trained Pokemon. Right, not, not no more, though. It's easy. No, yeah, now. I'm talking about back in your Omega Ruby days and shit. <laughs> that shit right there ain't no joke, man. Like, I put... Like, yeah, like, low-key, like, out of all the games and shit that I have, I think that the thing that I would be fucked up on the most is if some somebody did something to my GameCube memory card and shit, because that's, that's shit that I would never get back. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> Boy, bro, I, I, man, I turn my shit on. Like I said, I turn that hole and my shit out there. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm gonna be hot. I'm not gonna care. Like the Zelda games and shit, I'm not gonna trip out Zelda games. But like I play Zelda games for fucking fun. But like these, well, not necessarily this game, but like Adventure Battle Two and fucking DX and shit. When I gotta like get all my A ranks and shit. I'm never gonna have that much time again to do that shit. Like, never. So it's like, that's just something that I hold near and dear to me. Same thing with all like, my, my, my Nintendo 64 games and shit. Like, my sister, my sister, the, the Nintendo 64 is my sister. But uh, she took that hug and uh, she'll probably uh, kill herself if uh, something happened to her memory card. Not her memory card, but the actual uh, the game, because, like, you know, they didn't have memory units like that. But nah. Like even even back in the day, like whenever like people would sell their games and shit, I was never that nigga because I was I was always I always had the impression that if I sold that bitch, I would want to play it again. And, and like as a kid, my mama she used to uh, she threatened me with this. Like, she said, "I'll buy you whatever game you want, but if you sell it, I'm not buying it again, and I probably won't buy you nothing else." So that right there just scared me in in, in its own realm. I, I couldn't I was I couldn't uh, face that shit. Don't hold me like that. And then, like, melee and shit. Like, melee, I would be hot as a bitch if somebody deleted my melee. Because, like, yeah, I know how to get all the characters and shit. And I can unlock pretty much everybody in, like, maybe two days. The only reason why I say two days is because you gotta play, you gotta play, like, for 20 hours to unlock me too. I'm not finna just sit on the game for 20 hours. Or I would just, like, turn that bitch on and just leave it. But, like, Melee, that whole holds us like a, a very, very sacred place in my heart because of the event matches and shit that was on. Oh, that was fucking busting. Them like, live. About the yeah, event yeah. matches, them hoes live. And like, my, those are probably my favorite event matches in no, Melee. No, 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 no. Oh, different. Like, Melee, I feel like Melee is still the, the funnest uh, Smash game to play. Like, no online. Like, if I had no online and I had to play a, a Smash game, I'm gonna choose Melee. Even though it only has 20 some characters, the event matches on them hoes was timeless. Like, the, the showdown, trying to beat that bitch. Getting hot because I can't beat my records. Um, fucking yeah, really all them was the uh, final destination match. You gotta fight Crazy Hand and Master Hand at the same time. Oh like, <laughs> uh, yeah, them niggas. I feel like Melee got some hard fighting computers, but them niggas they stupid. Like them niggas they um like if you get an item like uh, like a hammer, like let's say we we're, we're doing doubles, right? Yeah. And I get a, a star. Them niggas literally forget everything. Like they, they, they focus on getting away from you, and they go to the furthest part of the stage, and they'll just stand there until your star run out. So if you got a partner, you can literally go over there and charge a free smash hit on them niggas, and they, they don't care. Oh, I never them niggas, they, they literally don't care. Same thing with a hammer. If you got a hammer, they, they're gonna go. They're just gonna run and stay far away, as far away from you as possible. But when them niggas in the paint, them niggas be throwing. I ain't gonna cap. They need to remaster that. Though. But if they remaster, man, I think that'll probably, that'll be fucking number one trending. What was that? That's a camera? This is all my But yeah, 
them, them, uh, the event matches I made, them hoes are trying to. Man, I, I don't know, I don't know. Like, I think, like, besides my Sonic games and shit, like, I think those would probably be the, the games that would heat me up the most if I, if I lost them, because I know that I would never be able to, uh, to do that again. Like I said, I'm, like, well off, and I don't have to, like, I can just actually focus on it. That shit right there. Like, Sonic Heroes and shit, like, Sonic Heroes, I got all A ranks with, like, three out of the four teams. The only reason why I didn't get on the other teams is because I, I, I stopped playing by then. I was already on 360 and shit. But, like, Team Sonic, Team Rose, Team Dark. I, I can't. I'm, I'm not gonna be able to do that again. <clears throat> My sister, she has my um, my Sonic Mega Collection. If I, if I would've had that, I would've played Sonic 3. But she's been having my shit for like fucking two years. So, I mean, it's kinda hard. I'm looking on quick. Next Sonic game that comes out, I might play with Oh, for real? No, they are fun. Well, I'm good, I have a problem. I never gave them a chance at that, but. Nah, nah, you definitely, you definitely should. A lot, a lot of things that, um, that people try as kids, whenever they try as when they're older, they um they fucking they they have a different mindset too. Like, uh, I thought Halo was I thought that Halo was boring too, but whenever J oh shit, whenever Jaden would uh, would play that bitch, cause he used to be at Kristen's house all the time, they play that bitch forever, and I just sit there and be watching like, bro, this is not it. And then whenever I got my uh, what are you doing? whenever I got my uh, my Xbox 360. I got Halo 3, Halo 3 was like my first online game on that bitch, besides Rise of the Ninja, I borrowed the help from Jay. And, um, like, I played that bitch, and I, I fell in love with that hoe. But it, it's, even so, it still wasn't like the, the peak of Halo 3, it was just a live-ass game that was out. And niggas, hella niggas was playing it. And, uh, yeah, that hoe. That was a lot of a bitch, and I really wish that I, I, I was in the era to play Halo 1 and 2. Because honestly, I was under the stigma that the original Xbox was boring as fuck. I was that shit too. I don't fucking hold it too, because I want to smash bros in my system. Oh, yeah, you. Xbox was definitely low as shit in that age. I think that whole was too, and I still stand by that shit. Like, even though I'm not I'm not Team Xbox, PS2 ran that, uh, that era. Like, I'm, I was I'm not going to I was, I was too. And uh, you already know how I feel about how I got hold out of my motherfucking PlayStation 2. My oh. teacher. Uh -huh. PlayStation 2 had the motherfucking anime hits. Nah, PlayStation 2 had the, nah, PlayStation 2 had them bitches. I ain't gonna cap. They had all the Dragon Ball Z games, all the Naruto games, fucking Kingdom Hearts, literally every anime game. If them niggas, PlayStation was on San Andreas, even though San Andreas is on Xbox 2, but nobody checks for fucking, nobody checks for the original Xbox. I'm not gonna cap. Like, that, it had its fans. Yeah, that was definitely normal system. All the hell was if we talking 360. You know, I, I think 360 is the greatest hey. system of all time. Hey, well, I wouldn't say, I don't know if it's like cemented as greatest of all time, but I, if, if if a nigga said that 360 was, uh, was was greatest, I would say it. I think 360 is the greatest system. Either that or PS2. The reason why I give 360 the slightest edge because 360 was a, literally one of like, the pioneer in the online game. Like That's where like the parties and shit came in. Like, even though PlayStation niggas don't want to admit it, y'all got that shit from us. Y'all y'all took our party shit. And if y'all didn't have that shit, y'all's online would no would be nowhere near our. Yeah, no bro. I, that, bro, they might not have been the first niggas, but the, the the community of the online was definitely boosted whenever 360 and PS3 were out. Who what what system was playing? Like who Maybe was, in consoles, the PC had it, but Dylan, you just got your PC in 2018. Oh, so I was just How? Oh, oh, I guess I played, I played Counter-Strike. Oh, I, I knew. I had the PC mm -hmm. my you was playing fucking Sherwood. <laughs> you, you talking about Flash game. That don't count, bro. Bro, I'm not. Bro, I'm not ready to see. Hey, 360, bro, 360. Come on. I'm, talk, I'm talking I see, game I see, system. I see. But nah, 360, like, come on, bro. Even though PlayStation niggas don't admit it, y'all know we won that era, and it wasn't close. That shit was not close. It, it was not close Even at all. Even y'all had free online, that shit was still not close. Yeah, y'all niggas had free online, and niggas, and there was still more niggas on 360 than fucking PlayStation 3. That, that says a lot. And then, y'all niggas, y'all niggas didn't even have Broken Bond. 
And Broken Bond is literally the best Naruto game that's ever came out. Best storyline, best best complex fighting. And y'all let they let America make a better Naruto game. And it don't even make sense. <laughs> but that, that's a that's a topic for another video. Broken Bond, too. Broken Bond, it really is Broken Bond too. Rise of Ninja was first game. They need to they need to make a, they should have made a shipping version of Broken Bond. Man, I think that would have been live as hell. Six bombs. Rekim the more. Boruto. Keep that nigga away from everything. Hey, the, the minute they fight the same. The minute they put Boruto name on the game, that we got Shinobi Strikers. They, they keep that nigga where the fuck he is. <laughs> Shinobi Strikers is the trashest Naruto game that I've ever played. That might be trashest anime game that I've ever played. Nah. Who? Uh, just anime? Uh, yeah, it's uh, uh, it's a Naruto game on DS. Never played. Oh, sorry. What makes it sorry? I'm slow I would rather play Saga than than my fucking uh, like Shinobi Strikes. But Sagas, I don't know. It, it, I, I feel like I'm being biased. Like if I had never played Sagas before and I put that bitch in, I would probably think that's the sorriest game I've ever played. That, that, that is very sorry. If I if you didn't play that bitch, whenever you uh. Whenever you fucking, whenever you, uh, whenever the game was out, you're definitely not gonna have the same effect. That hoe was, that hoe was broken. It was, mm, they, they, I don't know. That game had a lot of problems with it. But, Legacy of Goku is very trash. Legacy of Goku is trash, but that hoe has a special place in my heart. That hoe, that hoe heated me up, and that hoe was really, that hoe, that game was really hard. Like, I already told you about that, um, that Namekian temple. That they just threw in and make the story interesting because they know that they didn't do that shit. No facts. And then you just happen to figure out. You just happen to figure out that. Uh, yeah, you have to walk through that fucking transparent wall. I guess they have those hands that point towards it. Man, that shit. That shit literally could have meant anything. Y'all niggas play too much for this shit. That, that shit was childish as hell. No, 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 no. That hoe, that hoe kept me interested for a minute. Okay. But if I had to, um, I think one of my all-time favorite Game Boy Advance games is fucking uh, Nightmare in Dreamland. All right, Nightmare in Dreamland was a uh, that hoe was a gym, and uh, like that, I fucked that hoe heavy, and that's like really one of the only. That was like one of my first Game Boy Advance games. I got the hoe for my birthday, and my daddy took me to. Uh, I think I got the hook from Walmart. And I saw that bitch and I was like, I'm a cop. That hook. That hook's definitely out there. I never liked Nah, you sleep. I had like, I had three of them hoes growing up. I had um, Nightmare in Dreamland, Kirby Squeak Squad, and uh, Kirby and, was it Kirby and the Amazing Mirror? I, I, I remember having that bitch. I just don't remember if that's what it was called. I had it on, I got that one guy's time ago. I'm still glad I didn't like Kirby issues. I didn't have a GameCube, and one of my my friends that had a GameCube wanted to play that bitch. Mm -hmm. I said, "Man, let's play Smash, bro." I am sorry as hell. <laughs> Press Garden. All right. Well. That concludes the gaming video for today. Y'all let me know what y'all thought of Sonic Mania. I think this game is fucking great. And if y'all want to see me complete it, just let me know in the comments. Tell me what you liked. Tell me what you didn't like. And also, for the, for the hell of it, y'all list y'all's top five Sonic games. And I want to see what y'all think. Because I'm pretty sure some of y'all niggas is going to have amazing points. Some of y'all might be wilding. Who knows? But with that, RDC World 1, out.